This is it, my friends. We are now at the end of Harold's quest. Very soon, Harold Lore will finally be reunited with Lori. On his way to the diner, Harold thought it was a sign of God when finding a box of moon pies at a gas station that was not too far from the diner. Banana flavored, the best kind. The chocolate kind of tastes like crap. Now, best thing about moon pies is that they can never go bad. Perfect appetizers for special occasions. And my friends, this is a special occasion. This is it. The day that Harold has been looking forward to since the cross killed his lorry. It's just sad that after everything, this will be the last day he and Amanda will be together. And Harold just sitting there, listening to Amanda talk about her parents her life during med school, and all the dull nonsense that Harold pretended to find amusing. And the only interest he had was with these urges for Amanda. God, Harold is such a pervert. Harold's mind wandering off with fetish comforts when Amanda would talk about her disgust with feet, trying to stay focused and not reveal this inner monster. It was becoming a struggle for Harold. Here was this monster alone with this amazingly beautiful woman. If Harold wanted, he could have her right now, just throw her right on the table and have himself a good fuck. But no, no, Harold can't do that. Amanda is not a whore. This was something that he could not bring himself to do. That would ruin everything, everything that he worked so hard for all for nothing. And when Amanda began shedding tears, happiness turning into emotions over the loss of her parents, the loss of her friends, who wasn't truly her friends, that was Harold's opportunity to proceed on with the next part, the main chorus. Harold Lore, the nicest, sweetest man that Amanda had ever known, and who's just full of surprises, and oh yes, Harold Lore is indeed full of surprises, isn't he? In the kitchen, cooking up the main course for today's special. It's just too bad that this will be the last time that Harold and Amanda will both laugh and cry together. You see, this next part, it's going to be tough. Very hard for both Amanda and Harold. And Harold dropping Lori's severed breast into a pot of water. Harold doesn't expect Amanda to understand, but hopefully, in the end, she will. You see, Amanda has become very important to Harold. He loves Amanda, he truly does. Which is why he's going to take comfort in knowing that Amanda will always be part of him and Lori's life. No matter what happens, Amanda will always be part of Harold and Lori's life. They will always be together. The piece de resistance, and Harold happily carrying and placing the covered pot to Amanda. The joy on her face, the beautiful woman who's expecting a lot for a man who's full of unexpected surprises. And when Harold opened the lid, that happiness quickly turning into confusion, to disgust, 
and Amanda throwing herself into violent convulsions when her senses would be attacked by a strong odor of decay. Of all the foul things she witnessed, and yet the sight of a severed breast had made Amanda lose her balance and coordination. The pain of her body trying to force up all the contents within her stomach, the confusion, Amanda's mind racing trying to make sense of everything, somehow denying the reality of her situation. How this moment of celebration amongst two friends, taking a dark turn when Harold lifted Amanda to the chair and began tying her hands with some wire. And when things began to calm down for Amanda, regaining control of her thoughts, the moment when Amanda began to fully understand the reality of her situation, shock being overtaken by sheer terror, Amanda's involuntary reaction of screaming for help, please, or whatever incoherent nonsense would be silenced when Harold would gag her. First off, and most important, regardless of what happened and what's going to happen, Harold Lore thinks that Amanda is the most beautiful, amazing young woman he's ever met in his entire miserable life. And there's no way Harold wants to see Amanda suffer like the others. Since the day he met her, Harold knew how special Amanda was, how she was not like the others, and how much he truly loved her. Yes, love. Harold loves Amanda. And what happens next is what they would call an act of love. You see, Amanda is a kind, gentle soul who has no place for a world such as this. Believing that she was amongst friends, only to be fooled by a violent Darwin, that whore Claire, and that rapist and abuser Rick, and it was just a matter of time before Amanda would meet a painful death because of these people she called friends, who she trusted. Oh, they had it coming. They were all bad people. But Harold does have to make a personal confession. The mission, the cure, the scientists, all that was fabricated. If it wasn't for that, Harold knows that Rick and the others would have surely cut him loose and left him to die. So it's not like anyone can blame Harold for that. Can't forget that Harold Lore is a survivor, a king of this world. But Harold is on a mission, and Amanda does play a very important role in it. She's the only thing that can bring Lori back. Harold showing a picture of him, Lori, and their three children showing her the happy family that was taken and what can be brought back again. And now that Harold has Amanda, who's so pure, making her the perfect vessel for Lori to come back, Amanda is going to have an essential part in restoring all this. All she has to do is eat a small part of Lori's breast. But if she chooses not to comply, Harold can just cut Amanda's arm and pour her in. Even though there was terror within Amanda, there was no screaming when Harold removed the gag. Just a full understanding of her situation and a hopeless effort of trying to reason with the psychopath. That thing is infected, which is why Harold's plan in bringing Lori back cannot work. Ah, true. It is infected with the virus. But Harold has a theory. You see, the cross infection captures the good part of you, and traps it, holds it captive, leaving the evil part of you to have free reign over your body. So what that means is that there is still goodness left behind. Lori is still there, her soul trapped within the molecules. Amanda, who has no evil within her, a woman of purity, will cause the virus to be overloaded and release Lori's essence, thus bringing Lori back. However, there's still a problem with Harold's plan. It's not going to work. It can't. Because Amanda isn't as pure as Harold thinks. She has plenty of evil within her. And Harold, being incapable of understanding, more like accepting this, that all his efforts was for nothing. Harold, you fucking idiot, our king, conqueror. Is just an overgrown psychotic man-child who can't face the facts. We all know that Harold's just going to do whatever he wants. 
but that doesn't change the fact that Amanda is just as much of a whore as Claire. What's going to happen is that she's going to have that nasty shit put into her mouth, and then Amanda is going to turn, rip Harold's dick off and shove that filthy thing down his throat, and enjoy every minute of saying things that will break his heart before watching his miserable life waste away. But let's talk facts. Let's talk about Lori. Yes. Let's talk about how Lori never loved Harold. There was no family, no relationship, it's all bullshit. Just another victim to an unstable pervert. That guy in the picture, who isn't Harold, now that guy is fuckable. Amanda would rather fuck that guy instead of some psychotic piece of shit. Didn't Harold mention how the cross worked Lori with a garden tool? Yeah, Amanda can easily tell that she loved it. Amanda could see it on Harold's face, who's too embarrassed to admit it. Face it, Harold. Your precious Lori was nothing more but a fucking whore. That you did all this for some whore. And you just can't stand the fact that every man, and even the crossed, can do it better than you. The crossed can do it better than you. And Harold trying to withhold that rage, overwhelmed with the shameful truth, striking Amanda across the face just to shut her up. Even on the floor and spitting blood, Amanda still found it humorous how Harold could not satisfy Lori, but the cross could, with a garden tool. Harold giving the whore a kick in the ribs just to shut her up. So, the fucking bitch thinks that Harold can't do it better? <laughs> Oh, Amanda, who wanted Harold to be full of surprises, and Harold pulling something out from his backpack, a familiar object of sentimental value, for that special occasion, a garden tool. Oh, Amanda, you're so gonna fucking love this. No. Oh, God, no. It's true. Amanda is right about Lori. Lori loved it when they were working her. When he saw what they were doing to her, she loved every minute of it. Harold, who protected Lori, sacrificed for her, even loved her, only to realize that she was nothing but a whore. All this... It's not Amanda's fault. Seeing Amanda on the floor in pain, this is not what Harold wanted. He never planned for Amanda to suffer like this. But Harold does not have to do this. Harold can still find somebody else. We all know that Harold got carried away. That he doesn't want to do any of this to Amanda. She's not like the others, who were bad. She doesn't deserve any of this, but it looks like Harold has no other choice but to do some awful things to Amanda, like her face, her mouth, and the things he wants to do to her tits. Right now, Harold feels so hard. He just has to show Amanda all the awful ideas coursing through his mind, and he can't control it. Harold's gonna stab Amanda in the stomach, watch her as she writhe in pain as he twists the knife and fuck the living shit out of it. So much bad thoughts. Until Amanda confessed her love for Harold, who's so weak, so tired, everything hurting. She just doesn't want to suffer anymore. No, Harold doesn't truly want to hurt Amanda doesn't want her to suffer. You must understand, all of this is because of that whore. It's okay. Harold is going to be gentle. Our fool, who's willing to throw away everything he ever wanted, choosing an ungrateful whore over a beautiful, smart, loving woman. But before Harold gets started, Amanda has a request. A kiss. A final kiss before Harold is reunited with his Lori. And how could Harold not resist? He loves Amanda. Yes, 
he will give Amanda her kiss before she goes. And how hard it was for Harold when knowing that he's throwing away the happiness he yearned for. All this being a tragic love story that doesn't end the way the Harold wanted, but a weak man whose love is committed to a whore. Amanda's sweet, passionate kiss. It will never be the same when kissing a whore's lips. Perhaps the final taste of true happiness. In the pain when feeling the teeth being clamped down on his lips, Harold's lips being torn right off his face. The shock of seeing his lips in Amanda's mouth and being spat across the floor. Harold Moore, you stupid motherfucker. Let's face it, folks. Harold Lore. He's the guy saying hi to you at the local market. He's your coworker. He's your boss. He's your trusted friend, your family member. He's your role model, your follower, your hero, your neighbor, your kid's teacher, your favorite actor, favorite YouTuber. If you have not figured it out by now, Harold Lore is the world around you. Harold Lore is a monster in flesh and blood. And how many of you people go about your miserable mundane life and not know who is or isn't a monster? Until you make the same mistakes as Amanda and her friends. What makes you think that the normal people you see every day doesn't have a little bit of Harold within them? Amanda, who's now getting her head smashed in by Harold, is learning a very important lesson about humanity. And what happens when you give trust? Oh yeah. Amanda is hurting all right. She is suffering. And she knows what's going to happen when seeing Harold raising that garden tool. And whatever happens, she brought it upon herself. For trusting this man. For giving this man kindness. And there's no fear. But immense rage and self-hatred pinting up within Amanda. Just enough to have her right hand being sliced off by the wire. There was more anger than a pain when striking Harold across the face with her stump arm, causing Harold to be briefly knocked out. Just enough time for Amanda to free herself and make her escape. Making her escape. Out into the pouring rain. Not even looking back when hearing Harold cry out for her. Harold, who was screaming her name. I'm willing to bet that a handful of people had the expectations for a happy ending. That after everything, this sick man would get what's coming to him, and Amanda would run off living happily ever after. But that's not what we get in a world turned red. There are no happy endings, no fairy tales, no karma. All that is gone. All you get is the cross. Even if Harold would have met a fate that's far worse than his victims, I think a few of us who've met similar horrors would know that this is a monster that will not die that easily. And in time, you'll see what I mean. You'll see. Harold Lore is no king. That, my friends, was just a silly fairy tale he carried with him. If you haven't noticed, we can't tell if his life is fabricated or not. Harold is nothing more but a sniveling coward, a sexually frustrated deviant who tries so hard in convincing himself that he's evil in a world that has no care for him or his fairy tale ways. Even if Harold is more terrifying than the cross, nobody cares. A reality that Harold refuses to accept when hiding like a cockroach for months. And that's what he truly is. A sniveling cockroach. A coward. Of course, Harold Lore is a survivor and a storyteller that likes to tell himself that he is a king of this world. The only thing we can take from a man like Harold Lore is the horrors of giving trust. Sure, Amanda survived a terrible fate, but what makes you think that there's a happy ending for her when there's no more trust? For the days to come, she finds herself becoming a survivor. A survivor, just like Harold Lore. Doesn't matter if Harold died or not, as promised, Amanda and Harold 
will always be with each other when collecting her severed hand. As for Harold, even though he lost his chance with Amanda, to this day, nobody knows what became of Harold, but he was still committed to his mission of bringing Lori back, still on the search, and entertaining this silly idea of being a king of this world, a monster to be feared. Only this time, Harold is going to do it right. This time, it's going to be a whore with a nice ass and with beautiful lips. <laughs>